Hey y'all, it's sugar. It's sugar. I hate doing those intros, bro. I still don't have like a good intro. Um, but what up? My name is Stephanie. I attend the University of Alabama, graduate student studying advertising and public relations, and welcome to my channel. So, okay, this in inconsistent video posting is gonna stop. I already know, but your girl be busy, and I just I took a break, and it's a lot. But <laughs> I'm here now. Um, the last vlog y'all saw, I was in New York. Obviously, I'm back in Tuscaloosa, back for my second and final year of school. So, I'm just going to vlog this week um, and see what, what it does. Basically, maybe I'll do like a sit down explaining like my whole experience in New York and stuff. Like, get ready with me, Q&A, something, something, something. But this week is just going to be a vlog -de vlog vlog probably it's mad chatty. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to go. And do that, and do that, and do that, and do that. So right now I'm getting ready to go to a group meeting. So this semester I'm taking two physical classes and then one, um, well, three credits of project-based hours for my program. Um, so basically all my assignments for this year, I don't, I don't have very many like individual assignments. like. All my classes are group project based and then my project hour is a group project so it's just gonna be a lot of meetings a lot of getting ish done working 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 trying to graduate and elevate and all that fun stuff so um, today at 1 30 I have a group project um, for one of my classes and luckily uh, the girl who this group project is at doesn't live that far so I'm running late but it'll be fine I'll be there on time okay so I'm just gonna go through my skincare routine I know before I said I didn't have one because I didn't but I was like you know what let's do a skincare routine so I'm just gonna like go over that real quick and then we're gonna hop in the car we're gonna go to the meeting and then we'll just catch up again after that so usually um, I'll use this Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser from Kiehl's when I'm, um, ooh, <laughs> when I'm uh, cleansing my face. And y'all, I love this stuff so much. I picked this up when I was in New York because I needed to buy something so I could get a free balm lip balm for my birthday. Um, and I was like, you know what, like what's the cheapest thing? Like, and the cheapest thing was $10. I mean, it's Kiehl's, but but no i love this stuff i'm definitely gonna repurchase the full size i just wanted the travel size because i wasn't about to buy a full size I definitely didn't have room in my suitcase for all that so um but yeah using this it's it's a gentle exfoliator so it doesn't have like the walnut pieces that you hear about that are bad for your skin or the little beads that are bad for your skin it's like clay um and it's really really gentle exfoliating and i use this every day um and i my skin just feels so clean after it but not like dried out or anything it just feels like everything has been taken off um so i definitely 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 recommend this and then two or three times a week i'll go in with my mario Badescu glycolic filming cleanser um i like this cleanser it's supposed to help with like uneven skin tone and texture which i think it does um but you're not supposed to use it more than three times a week so i'll just like a few days a week i'll use this um but yeah so i'm just gonna go through what i usually do for my skincare right after i get out the shower and uh pat my face dry i'll go in with this glossier um solution so it's a skin and exfoliating exfoliating skin perf perfecter jesus with 10 percent of all these different acids that i can't pronounce but i'll go in with just like a um cotton round and it has like this at the top so be sanitary um and i freaking love this stuff so when i visited glossier in new york 
and we were asking like one of the workers about this she was like oh yeah it's really good and she was like selling it but i was like oh like she's a saleswoman but no this stuff is bomb but she did say that like some people experience breakouts when they use this initially because it resurfaces um it surfaces any like breakouts you have underneath your skin and i was like oh i don't have problem skin like that definitely will not happen to me you know, whatever like, i don't have to worry about that and honestly it did i got two like zits right here you can kind of see the scars because i popped them and they were kind of big but i knew that that was from this because i don't get breakouts and i when i do they're not right there so i knew and i haven't gotten like any type of breakout since then um so i've been using this for almost a month maybe but yeah so you want to make sure to get your neck because your neck ages just like your face does um so i'll go in with that so i definitely recommend this and i definitely will be repurchasing repurchasing this from glossier okay so then after that i will go in with my keels clearly corrective dark spot solution um, and this is just a serum to help with dark spots. I haven't been using this long enough or consistently enough to see any like major changes for real, for real, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'll probably check in like another month and see, um, how it's doing. Ooh, got some fuzzies on my eyelash. But I really do like this. I like how it feels. I like how it makes my skin look. Um... And so I just pop that in like that. I like it. Is, I like it. Is. And yes. Yes, honey. Look, glowing. Love it. Um, and then I'll go in. So the serum goes in before moisturizer. I'm using this dual action moisturizer from Clean and Clear. Um, this isn't my favorite moisturizer, honestly. I'm just using it so I can use it up and get a new one. <laughs> I kind of want to try the Ole Henderson uh, C Serum Balm thing thing. That looks good. Or the Elf Polypeptide Moisturizer. Those look good. But this isn't a bad one. It's oil free and yeah. So I just, it's, for me, I don't like it that much because I feel like it's not that moisturizing, but I have combination skin. So my dry parts of my face are dry. Um, but yeah, if you need like a, like a cheap, like drugstore moisturizer, it's really not bad. And it is medicated with silicone salicylic acid so i don't really know what that does for your skin um but yeah and it's part of the three-step thing from clean and clear whatever <laughs> okay so then i will go in with my super goop glow stick i definitely started adding sunscreen um to my routine especially since after old boy from kiehl's told me that this um if you are in the sun it like counteracts it because obviously sun um, makes those dark spots worse so I actually like it's like this kind of consistency like a is it a gel kind of solid but I accidentally pushed it up and it like stayed there so that's why it looks like that but usually it should go down you know but I'll actually usually put this in my hand first because if you put too much on you'll end up looking like a grease ball and this is good for if you want to do like a natural face um you can put it on and you can lay it under makeup um but you just have to be kind of mindful of how much you put on because it could make you look real slick honey underneath that foundation um so in terms of repurchasing it i still don't know i might try the glossier sunscreen whenever i finish that which will be a long time from now um just because i use so little you need so little every time um but the glossier one is like cream so like a traditional sunscreen so i don't know but this one isn't bad so i'll do that and just press that into a light skin and then i will go in with ooh, my skin is so shiny glowy kind of like it yeah 
um and then i'll go in with this mario badescu ceramide eye gel again this is another one it's not bad but i'm just using it to use it up so i can get a new one again i want to try the old old Henriksen, um eye cream i heard that was really really good to see the see brightening eye cream or whatever it's called okay so then i'll go on with my ring finger always use your ring finger because it is the weakest finger and um it's using your weakest finger make sure that you don't drag the skin under your eye like down which is super delicate okay i put a lot on here my, my face is looking like a grease ball honey La, la, la. okay so i'm probably gonna go get a tissue and blot this off because honestly i just put way too much of that sunscreen on tbh um also i heard that people use poor professional like this stuff as just like a layer of their skin to minimize pores i'm not gonna try that today just because my skin is taking a break from any from like extra extra product outside of my skincare um but i might try that tomorrow and let y'all know because i was watching somebody i don't remember who they're like oh yeah i've heard of like people using that as like a lotion not even a lotion just a layer to like minimize the pores on their face and i was like that's really interesting but yeah so let me just go ahead and block that honestly i usually don't do this but i just put so much freaking product on my face so and that's skinky yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go because I'm pretty sure it's like 115 at this point. And I need to pack my bag and shit, so, and stuff. So, catch y'all later. <laughs>